Get ready for a wild ride as we explore some seriously cool plants. We're talking weird, strange, and even carnivorous ones nature's own little oddities. Plus, we'll spill the beans on beautiful but deadly plants. This isn't your usual nature show. It's a fun dive into the science of plants. Whether you're a gardener or just love nature, we've got mind-blowing facts waiting for you. Number 15. Titan Arum. Imagine the worst smell you can think of, like really bad rotting stuff. Now, picture that smell coming from a flower. That's what happens with the Titan Arum. It's a big flower that blooms for only three days and is the largest of its kind. The flower clusters together on a tall stem. I'm standing next to one right now, and the stem can grow over three meters tall. It's quite impressive. This flower is related to other flowers like the cuckoo paint and calla lily. They all have groups of flowers surrounded by a leaf that looks like a big petal. Some Titan arums bloom in the New York Botanical Gardens and others in the rainforest biome at the Eden Project in Cornwall. This plant is originally from Western Sumatra in Indonesia and it's one of the world's biggest flowering plants. Here's the weird part. It's also the smelliest. When it's about to die, it lets out a really strong and bad smell. That's why people call it the corpse flower. Number 14. Narilatha Flower Naked Women Our world is a strange place with many weird things, but one of the weirdest is the Narilatha Flower, also known as the Leothambara Flower. People like it because its flowers are said to look like a naked woman. However, some people doubt if the flower is real. When you search for pictures of the flower, you might find different versions. Some look like a complete woman, while others look like a pair with a feminine face. Another version is very flower-like, with a white body and purple limbs and head. The flower's name in Hindi means flower in the shape of a lady. If it really exists, it's rumored to bloom only once every two decades, making it one of the rarest flowers on the planet. People talk a lot about it on social media. The flower's origin is controversial, with some saying it can be found in Sri Lanka, Thailand, and the Himalayan region of India. Despite being considered one of the most wonderful and rare flowers in the world, scientists haven't paid much attention to the Naralatha. The question remains, where did it come from, or does it even exist? Number 13. Dracula Simeon Monkey Orchid the flowers on this plant are kinda creepy. Some people say they look like Count Dracula, while others think they resemble a monkey's face. Personally, I'm not convinced it's a friendly monkey. It looks more like an angry one with Dracula-like teeth. This red one is my favorite. It's a deep red color and very fuzzy. They call it the Dracula Simeon or Monkey Orchid. But let me tell you, this isn't the type of plant you'd want in a regular garden. Unless you're going for a spooky Halloween theme, it might not be your best pick. This orchid is unique, and people find it fascinating. However, it's not easy to find. It usually hangs out in the cloud forests of southeastern Ecuador and Peru, at elevations between 1,000 and 2,000 meters. If you want to see one in its natural home, get ready for a bit of hiking. For those who want their own monkey orchid, some specialty nurseries sell them. But beware, these plants aren't for beginners. They're a bit picky and won't grow well if the conditions aren't just right. You'll need serious gardening skills to keep this little fussy character happy. Number 12. Antirenum Mages Snapdragon For many years, a special flower thought to have magical powers has been popular in gardens. It's called the Antirenum, also known as the Snapdragon or Dragonflower. When you squeeze its petals, it looks like a dragon's head opening and closing its mouth with a fiery breath. Kids find them interesting, but sometimes they pull them apart. After the flower dies, it leaves a seed pod that looks like a skull. Ancient cultures believe planting these flowers in their gardens could protect them from lies, curses, and witchcraft. Another belief is that eating snapdragons could make a woman look younger and more beautiful. It seems a bit vain to try that, don't you think? No one knows for sure how many flowers you'd need for a potion, 
But it's surprising that witches didn't steal them from gardens to fix their looks. It makes you wonder if these magical powers are real. Number 11. Trees in Crooked Forest In 1930, 400 pine trees were planted in a village in northwestern Poland called No Toronto. These trees are not like regular ones because they bend sharply to the north near the base. The trunks of these trees go sideways for about three meters and then go upright again. People find it interesting and many visitors come to see them. The forest where these trees are has a new name, the Crooked Forest. People have different ideas about why these trees grow this way, but no one knows for sure. Some think humans might have used tools or techniques to make them bend, while others believe they were purposely deformed to make curved timber for building things like boats or furniture. None of these ideas have strong evidence. Some even suggest a big snowstorm might have bent the trunks, but that seems unlikely. The real reason for these oddly shaped trees is still unknown, making them even more interesting for tourists. Number 10. Dianaeum Ossipula Venus Flytrap When you think about plants and what they eat, you might picture them as plant eaters most of the time, and that's usually true. But the Dianaeum Moshipula, also known as the Venus Flytrap, is a bit different. This unique-looking plant eats meat, especially insects and spiders. It lures them with sweet nectar, and when they touch tiny hairs on its leaves, the trap closes and captures them. The trap is big enough for insects, with adult plants usually being around 2.5 centimeters long. Some can even grow up to 5 centimeters. The Venus flytrap is a famous carnivorous plant and is mainly found in the coastal bogs of North and South Carolina. Unfortunately, its survival is at risk because its habitat is being destroyed, and it's believed to be extinct in some places where it used to live. Number 9. Taliana Major Flying Duck When you see this flower, you can easily guess its nickname, the Flying Duck Flower. It's a special kind of orchid that comes from Australia. You can find them in open forests and woodlands in places like Queensland, South Australia, Tasmania, Victoria, and New South Wales. They were first talked about by a guy named Robert Brown in 1810, and he named the flower after an English botanist and explorer named George Kelly. These orchids can grow up to 20 inches tall and have a unique flower that looks like a duck. The colors are purple, with hints of red and brown, making it really look like a duck. They usually bloom from September to January. One interesting thing about them is that insects get stuck in the beak of the flower, and when they try to escape, they release pollen. This helps the flower reproduce. Unfortunately, you can't buy this orchid for your home because it's on Australia's list of plants that need protection. They're at risk of becoming endangered because their homes are being destroyed and the bugs that help them reproduce are disappearing. Number 8. Ophrys apifirabi orchid Orchids are amazing flowers with many types. One special orchid, the Ophres apifera or Bjorchid, is different because it looks like it's trying to attract a big bee. This short and stout flower has leaves at the bottom, and some of them grow up to cover the flower. The petals inside the leaves look like a bee's body, and the large pink parts around them resemble bee wings. The deception doesn't stop there. The flower feels hairy and releases a scent like a female bee. It wants to trick male bees into thinking it's a mate, so they try to mate with it and help in pollination. In Britain, these orchids can pollinate themselves, so the trick isn't really needed. They are often found in open areas like grasslands, quarries, sand dunes, roadsides and waste grounds. Sometimes, the bee orchid spreads a lot like a weed. It's common in mainland Britain, but its numbers have gone down in Ireland because its home has been destroyed. That's why the bee orchid is a protected species in Northern Ireland. Number 7. Impatient Citizen's Parrot Flower This special and pretty flower is very rare. You can't find it in just any garden. People think it's more common in some countries in Southeast Asia and the tropical forests of Thailand. It's officially called the Impatient Citizen, but many people call it the Parrot Flower because it looks like a flying cockatoo. 
This flower needs a very hot and wet climate to live, and it's protected, so you can't have it in your garden. If you want this unique flower in your garden, you might find seeds for sale online. But be careful, some of them are fake and won't give you the same beautiful flower. Some people think small bats or birds are the ones that help the flower grow, while others say it might be wasps or big bees. Even though the flower looks great in pictures, the bush it grows on is messy and has wide leaves. It can grow as tall as six feet. The flower only blooms for a few weeks around October to November, so it's not worth the trouble. After being picked, they quickly lose their beauty. Number 6. Rafflesia arnoldi The biggest flower in the world is called Rafflesia arnoldi. Unlike many beautiful and fragrant flowers, this one is not attractive and has a bad smell. It's found in the rainforests of Indonesia and is rare. The flower doesn't have roots or a stem, but it attaches itself to another plant to get water and nutrients. The Rafflesia arnoldi can be very large, up to 3 feet wide and weighing almost 25 pounds. When it blooms, it releases a stinky odor similar to rotting meat. This smell helps attract insects that pollinate the flower. Sir Stamford Raffles discovered this plant in 1818 and named it after himself and his companion, Dr. James Arnold. The Rafflesia arnoldi is one of the rarest plants in the world and is close to extinction. Its seeds are hard to grow, and it relies on another plant for survival. Without its host, the Rafflesia arnoldi can't survive. Number 5. Methuselah Oldest Tree in the World Have you heard the phrase, as old as Methuselah? Well, it comes from a guy named Methuselah in the Bible. He's known in Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, and he's said to be Noah's grandfather. Methuselah lived a super long time, like 969 years, that makes him one of the oldest people mentioned in the Bible. There's a special place called Methuselah Grove, where you can find some of the world's oldest trees. One of them is called the Methuselah Tree, which grows in the White Mountains of Eastern California. Until 2013, it was thought to be the oldest tree on Earth. But now there's a bristlecone pine in Inyo National Forest that's over 5,000 years old. The locations of these trees are top secret to keep them safe. The Methuselah tree was found in 1957 by a researcher named Edmund Shulman. He was really good at dating tree rings to figure out their exact age. He spent several summers collecting data until he found Methuselah's tree. Number 4. Rainbow Eucalyptus Tree Contrary to what many people think, no one has gone wild in this forest, painting the trees with colorful brushes. These trees always look like this on a regular day and have been like this for as long as they've been alive. It's not surprising that these trees are called colorful rainbow eucalyptus because of their vibrant appearance. Eucalyptus trees are known for their fragrant leaves and being the main food for colas worldwide. However, these trees have a special trick. Underneath their bark, officially called Eucalyptus deglupta, they are so colorful that they almost look like a colored pencil being sharpened. This happens when they shed their bark, revealing a beautiful array of colors. These trees are unique because they are the only eucalyptus species that live in rainforests and one of only four found outside Australia. They can be found in the Philippines, Indonesia, and Papua New Guinea, reaching up to 250 feet in the air. While their height is impressive, it's the tree's multicolor bark that makes it stand out. Number 3. Wellwichkia mirabilis tree This plant, called the Wellwichkia mirabilis or tree tumbo, might look like a lump of dead flags, but it's actually one of the weirdest plants in the world. It was given to the Royal Botanic Gardens in 1863. The keeper there thought it was both wonderful and ugly. It's true, this plant is not very pretty. The plant starts as a seedling, and you can see two leaves growing out in opposite directions from the center. These large strap-like leaves keep growing along the ground.